Hi guys, welcome to part two of my dragon collection thingy. So we've been over all of them. Check out part two if you haven't already, or you'll miss all these dragons. There's actually a few more. I couldn't pick them all up without hurting my hands. They're really pointy in parts. So today we're going to be going over, well, now we're going to be going over some other models that are much more detailed and quite a bit more expensive than those. These were like two, three pound each. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, no, I think it was three pound each or two for a fiver, so. Bought them all. Now, the two that we're going into, these are dragons, but they are much cooler dragons. Now this is the strongest, most powerful dragon there is. So that's what we're going to do them after. The second one, no, this is one of the worst dragons there is. He's not actually that strong, but he's pretty cool. This is the Ocean Goddess Dragon. So this is actually a girl. And it controls water. So it sort of glides. And when it goes, because it can fly, you know, when it goes into water, its wings don't really cope with water too well because it sort of hits it. Of course, its wings are curved, so they just sort of break so what she does she takes her wings off she's incredibly special like that and she uses her tail you can see how it's like almost like a fish tail and these webbed feet to help her swim along the ocean she can take people she can actually use her mouth when she's got enough energy she can shoot water out of her mouth and basically fill the whole like world with water she can't do the whole world but she could do like a room like an arena if they were fighting so it gives her an advantage so that's why she's really cool uh, she's quite fast as well and then we have the most powerful dragon there is the hellfire dragon ah! actually do you guys get a close-up of her Yeah, all those bits. Ah. Now, this guy is incredibly cool. He's got a spiky tail. But, um, also, both of these, these are more expensive ones. Their mouth moves. And with this one, look. Wow. Yeah. I thought that was quite cool. But this one's meant to be super strong because he doesn't need to fly because he's the only one with claws on his wings because of where they sit. So he can like crawl along so like what was that noise? Yeah. So yeah. But this one's meant to be up to like so if it's fighting um one of these strong dragons. The idea is that once it gets annoyed enough, it can basically just launch them into the ground. Because she's a hell dragon, it pushes them straight into hell. There we go. It pushes them straight down into hell. But he is more powerful, and he's able to use like psychic powers. So like now they're in hell. Like this guy's coming out. <laughs> Easy victory for him in an arena. So that's what makes him so powerful. And these, this tipped, this final point on his tail because he's got points like he's got some on top. He's got side. He's got side, and then he's got one point coming out the bottom. That one is tipped with poison. Cause funny, cool logic. Now we have the apes. Now these are called, I call them heroes, they're not like heroes, they're just the cool ones. But each hero has their own pet. This is the robotic gorilla. So a robotic leg, a robotic arm, and a trainer on. I know it doesn't make much sense, he's also meant to have a sword and a battle axe. They got broken. This is him, he's like super strong in one arm, and like really strong in one leg the robotic ones but he's really detailed as well he's got every single piece of fur on him like carved into him 
It's really cool. And then I also have a regular silverback gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> so they've also done the same like thing where there's tons and tons of fur all over and you can see every little piece. Come on, focus. I know my hand's shaky. There we go. That's close enough for me. Yeah. Um, that's them. Those two. Now, for the crocodile warrior that I told you guys about in the last one. He has a sword. Oh, this is him, by the way. He's got all these scales on him. Um, but yeah, he's got this sword and he's got this big hammer. A war hammer. He's like the strongest warrior. He's the best at actually fighting. He can basically kill anything. And his pet is a lethal Komodo dragon, which has also every single skill. Now, I was thinking to myself, when I got it, I was like, well, I could get him a crocodile or I could get him a Komodo dragon. And I thought the Komodo dragon was cooler, so yeah. So yeah, this guy can like, obviously his bite is highly poisonous. And its tail is incredibly strong. So um, when he fights the gorilla's pet, this happens. <laughs> Just flings him about. <laughs> Put those back. I can't take these pets. Right, now for the final ones. These are like the people who are in charge of everyone. This is the captain. He is a pirate octopus. He is the one in charge. And he doesn't have a pet. Well, he does. He has two pets, but he doesn't have any pets, basically, kind of. So he rides this three-headed dog. Now, this three-headed dog is an actual thing, but I just call it the three-headed dog. One, because I don't know the actual name, and two, he treats it as a horsey. So he just pops on here quite nicely. And he rides him. Looks pretty scary. An octopus holding a bunch of knives on a three-headed dog coming at you. And then he also has this more normal, which I didn't get in the same shop. I actually got this at Castle Country. Um, I got this owl. This really cool owl. And this is like his pet, more of. Because um, it's like, because he can't go in the sky, obviously. He's got something to take him around on land a lot easier because he's got tentacles for arms. So he's got something very strong to help him. And he needs something in the air, so... Because he's a captain, so we need something cool. Normally, he'd have a parrot, but a giant owl will do. So, that's that. They're all pretty cool. Um, I guess that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.